Hey guys, Merry Christmas. On this day, we just wanted to share with you the greatest story that's ever been told, the truth about this historical moment that changed all of our lives. So gather the kids and friends maybe before you open presents or before dinner and just briefly hear this great story. You see, once upon a time, about 700 years before Jesus was born, there was a man named Isaiah and he was a man who shared good things about who God was. And it was important because people of the time were very afraid, many people. There were political unrest. There was uh, tension between races. There was economic problems. There were health issues. That might sound familiar, but Isaiah in that time said, hey, humanity, there's going to be a day and there's going to be a sign that points to a day where there's a savior who will save you from all of this. And it's recorded in the book of Isaiah and he says, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel being, of course, God with us. So the sign was, if a virgin would have a baby, that that means that everything changes for everyone. And so for many years, people would be waiting for this sign. And then it happened. One night, it happened. And so we pick that story up years later in Luke 2 and it is the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all of the world should be registered. It was the first registration during that certain time and it was like a, a government mandate that the people had to follow. I would guess some were happy about it and some weren't. Eh? But all went to be registered to their own town and Joseph brought Mary to their hometown of Bethlehem. Now it's fascinating because 700 years before, there's also a prophecy that this savior would be born specifically in Bethlehem because there was um, no room in the upper rooms. They ended up being in a, a, a stable type environment. And while they were there, it came time to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and laid him in a manger because there was no other place. And out in the fields in the same area, there were shepherds, just these ordinary people that were doing ordinary things. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone all around them. And the angel said to them, fear not. I bring you good news of great joy that'll be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you, the angels said to the, to the shepherds. You're gonna find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger, that wouldn't be a normal scene. So saying this is the sign. And suddenly then there was an army thousands upon thousands of angels and they were praising God and they were singing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. And when the angels went away, the shepherds said to each other, we got to go to Bethlehem. We have to see this. And so they went quickly and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they told Mary and Joseph all this that had happened. And they were overwhelmed so much that Mary even treasured it in her heart for all time. And the shepherds returned later, just praising God and glorifying for all they had heard and seen. What changed history is the savior that was needed for humanity 
was born this Christmas day, and it still is our savior. So today, no matter what challenges you're facing in your family or relationships or financially or health-wise, we have a savior who has been born. And this savior is setting all of things right. And there will be a day There will be a day when this Savior comes back again and takes all of us into a new heaven and a new earth. And there will be no more war, and there'll be no more pain, there'll be no more anxiety. All things will be made new. So we celebrate Christmas, our Savior being born, and we look forward to the day when he returns. Merry Christmas.
holy infant so tender and All of us at Canyon View, Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. We'll see you soon.